Take nine at-risk teenagers, two committed filmmakers, give them 10 months, and what do you get? You get tonight's film. Hi, I'm Janet Stewart. Tonight on CBC Manitoba Presents, Life from 95. 95 refers to an address, 95 Ellen Street. It's home to ERCOM, the Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization of Manitoba. It's also home to about 200 kids who are newcomers to Manitoba, newcomers to Canada. These kids face extraordinary challenges, new languages, new cultures, trying to fit in. It makes them prime targets for recruitment from local gangs. ERCOM tries to give these kids alternative programming, show them that there's another way to go. They hooked up with tonight's filmmakers to produce a hip-hop music video. Now, here's how the music goes. ERCOM stands for the Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization of Manitoba. It's a transitional housing program for immigrants and refugees who have moved into the country and who are in their first three years of stay in Canada. I am a program coordinator for youth and children's programs. I run programs for newcomer kids, things that uh, help to engage kids during the after school hours. This is Ercom House. The street, Ellen Street, is missing, so uh, most people call it 95. Just that to you. Okay, get it. We have people called immigrants, people who are coming to invest in this country or contribute professionally to the society. Immigrants come and they have a wealth of support. They've chosen Canada and they sort of settle and go, where do I get my training? Where do I get my job? How do I start my life? And we have three categories of refugees who live here. Government-sponsored refugees, people who are in need of protection in their countries. The other category is private-sponsored refugees, people who are sponsored by individuals, like me sponsoring my relatives. Third category is uh, inland refugee claimants. For example, if you came as a student here, and then while you're here, uh, your country went into war and you cannot go back. Refugees come in with a great deal of trauma and just having experienced war and famine, poverty and conflict. When refugees come, it's expected that they begin integrating into the greater society and that's where EARCOM comes in. Total population is about 300. Out of these 300, about 200 are children. We have these kind of things on every balcony all the way to the fifth floor. People are growing vegetables and all kinds of things. The kind of Vegetables that they grow are oriental vegetables that uh, they've done in their own countries. And then this is our program room where we run most of our kids' program. These here up here, you see the rules of the program. Be responsible, be respectful, and be safe. These are the kind of things that we do with the kids and uh, they help us guide in our work. It was different than I thought it would be like in Canada. When I first came uh, to 95, there was a lot of guys with baggy pants and stuff, you know. I didn't come here for, I didn't come here for, you know, joint gangs and stuff. A guy was riding a bike, so I seen he took a gun. So I thought he was going to shoot me, so I, I was riding my bike so fast. He thinks I'm in a gang, so. The area around Central Park, there's a lot of gang activity. Where we are right now, we are in the heart of the conflict zone. I'm a Métis filmmaker from Winnipeg. Before that, I was involved in gangs. I joined my first gang when I was 14. I was exposed to gangs when I was 10. It's easy to relate to them, and on their level, they'll be easily influenced. A lot of kids get sucked into the gang life. When I came here, I didn't know, like, who was good and bad, but I had, like, bad friends. Like, I made bad choices. I've heard that most gangs like really feed on new kids. Most of the newcomers who arrive in Winnipeg, the only place where they find acceptance is the gang environment. I joined the Manitoba Warriors. I was a co-founding member of 13 other guys. You know, I eventually quit the gang in uh, 2000, started practicing the Aboriginal spirituality in jail. Started going to ceremony and stuff like that. 
and just uh, started focusing on my spirituality that I never had. So the program we are doing provides opportunities for these young people to channel their energies towards more positive activities. The With Art program is a community-based program that we developed uh, in the public art program as Winnipeg Arts Council. The idea was to put community groups and professional artists together to collaborate on projects. Young people like them who have that kind of a background can really make changes within the life of others and it's also going to be an example for others who are going to come in the future to be able to see that they can do things that you know people like them have done. My name is Jim Agapito. I was a journalist. I studied journalism. That's what I did. I lived in Toronto. Came back to Winnipeg, filmmaking became something that I, I really became passionate about, which is how I met Irvin. I got into film, television, 2003, I guess. I took a broadcasting course. Irvin and I were attracted to this program because we wanted to make a difference with kids. I asked him if he wanted to apply with me and do an art project with the Winnipeg Arts Council. Wob came in. Irvin had worked with Wob. Um, I just wrote and directed his music video and that's where the relationship started and, uh, and I seen his, uh, his ability to, as, as, uh, as a musician, as a rap artist, what he could do so I thought he'd per be perfect for, the, for, the, for these youth. When the filmmakers met with, with IRCOM and, and to their great credit they had youth on the interview panel, you know the kids were making the decision and that's totally empowering. Some of the youth have said that they're interested in making music videos. They want to channel the energy towards, you know, something that can be seen by other people. They want to do a hip-hop project, kind of a hip-hop music video. We had in mind to document it throughout the whole process. Rob coming in and doing his introduction with the drum was, was, kind, of, was kind of cool. And the kids were really stoked when they were watching him do it. Bob is really great and like right before we started he did a rap. That's probably what made me want to actually make a rap. Well what I did with the kids was show them how to write and then record a rap song. We sat down and brainstormed and identified what are the things that they want to talk about. Everybody can you guys find a marker or a crayon? And then come up here, you get three votes each. Pick your three favorite that you want to write a song okay, about. Try go. Hey, uh, I'm uh, gonna uh, one, two, three. Yo, man, what is it? Uh, one, two, three. That's all. This is the craziest voting paper I've ever done in any one of these workshops. I think you guys are messing with me. Okay. So we're gonna write about this right here, okay? Let's think of eight words that has to do with these. We'll just start with eight words. And then from there, we started uh, just throwing some words out, you know, that would kind of be like catchphrases, things for them to latch on to. I'm gonna kill you. No killing anybody, okay? And then we worked on rhymes for each one of those. Let's think of a word that rhymes with this. What rhymes with police? Please. 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 Like police. If it sounds to your ear like it rhymes, that's all, that's all good. You said grease. What rhymes with hunger? Bunger. <laughs> Bunger. Oh, I got it. Bunger. <laughs> and then we just kind of filled in the blanks and, you know, wrote a verse. Okay. So this is going to be our verse right here, okay? What we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the blanks to make it 16 bars. It's going to be like, wake up in the morning, fry up some bacon grease, look out my window, and I see the police. They are on the lookout for me because I like to bang, but I can't see them, I'm hidden by my gang. I grew up in Central, so yeah, that made me stronger. Every day I had to figure a way to survive, feed my hunger. Gangsters in this area, damn, there's lots. Yeah, we have to lay low, otherwise we face shots. I'm steady looking around wondering who are these new faces and what this white dude that doing here acting so racist. That's probably why I went to the pen, started muscling, came back out on the streets and steady hustling. People see me, they're wondering what's the strangers coming in the area central, steady costs and changes. This country wasn't built for me, so F the Constitution, me and my homeboys right here is ready to start a revolution. Right? So we're going to do that. But now you guys do it. Every kid was trying to write down a song. Even those kids who I thought will never be interested in making music, each one of them going to have, having a piece of paper and trying to say, 
I'm writing my song. Can I music you like yeah. pop rock? Pop rock? Wow, that's very good. What can you in the building room? Mess. Mess, right? That's how you're gonna put it, right? But so you gotta figure out what's gonna say there. Uh, what can you? He's a good fellow. He tries to help, you know. He, he understands you. No matter how broken your English is, he still, you know, help you out. Est-ce qu'il connaît les lettres en français? Si je dis les lettres en français, est-ce que tu peux le comprendre ou quoi? Ok. David is uh, one of the kids who has the most enormous challenges in, in this country. He came as a, someone who has been affected tremendously by war and uh, was disabled because of this experience. As a young person who you know, was taken advantage of because of certain disabilities that he had. For once, felt like, you know, he was part of a program. Me, like the sunshine, I got no problem. I got start of one. You are a memory girl, and let's start up one. I'm trying to make friends. I'm getting ready to dress. On the court, I'm blessed. I'm making legs, too. I'm already in that. I'm already in that. Let's be. I'm in a gang. We love the gang. Niggas on my booty. Are you really in a gang? Before you say that in the song, so why say that? <laughs> and he's one of the kids, you know, who's like on the line. Is he gonna go good? Is he gonna go bad? So why you rap about why you came to Canada? Yeah, you gotta make it about your real life, right? I just want to stand there as the alternative. Remind them that there's uh, there's another way than just the gangster way. Let's start a new one. Let's start a new one, man. I'll help you write a new one. Yeah, he was. Okay, let me was such a hit on the kids that made them feel that here was a person who was finally feeling that these kids are really important in the life of people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you winning at this time. You winning at this time. At first, I didn't want to do it, but <laughs> Wap pushed me. You can follow like the melody that's already there. Or you can just make a new one that goes over top of it and works with it. So it's up to you. Are you, you, you going to use this one? I was born in the hood, raised in the ghetto. And that's what life is for real G's. And if you see bench in the black, it doesn't mean I'm trying to hide. I'm just trying to live life. Yeah, how, how, how I can add some. You should say words that have R in it, that like raised and real and ride. But the way, you're, the way you pronounce R sounds cool, so you should say R is like all the time, as much as you can. I'm the hardest thing living, this head is gonna get it's sad to be given. Love it or hate it, I see number one, like I'm blessing my gun, I make the headers run. I'm a G, that's what the people calling me. I'm the hardest like the sun, I'm a G on the line, so shine like a diamond if I cross that line. I'm gonna be blind, addicted to the gang, my shit, I no games. And but it's a bad word, I don't want to do it. Nice one. Oh, that's keep it like that. I'm a, from my east and I know what's a struggle. A lot of trouble went over my head, made me live my life like I'm dead. No tears, no fears. Uh, and that's all. Five, four, three, two, one. We're the girls in this building who know how to rap. We go from place to place because there's nowhere to stop. No one can stop us, cause it all comes from the heart. They can all try, but we'll just restart. Four, three, two, one. I'm Go. trying to make a friends. I'm getting ready to dress. On the court, I'm blessed. NBA is the best. My uh, my brother is in the game. He's giving me a stress. If we quit now, he might see a success. Yeah. 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 These are two stars right here. The recording took about three sessions. Most of it was just like on the spot, turn the microphone on and just, you know, coach them through their performance. Test, test, test. I'm uh, coming from my east and I know what's a struggle, a lot of trouble. I was just trying to pass message about me, 
Azeem is probably the most likely to have a rap career. Am I broke now? Not, not, not Azeem. He's good. I think he's better than me. Oh, you remember everything, eh? Mm. Yeah. So about there? He was my friend. His name is Mandela. He's the one who actually pulled me into uh, music. Yeah, there's no one hear me crying when the sunlight shows shine. They put the blame on me. They act like they love me. I holler if you hear me. Mandela, he's got like the strong name of probably most famous African leader, and he could honestly live up to that name because the kids look up to him. I'm trying to live my life so badly. Good, can I listen? Thanks. Sound, sounded good, man. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, do you want to try it once? Okay. Dagmar was a star. She was the only girl who had the guts to actually go through with the recording process. And she probably had like one of the better performances on the whole song. I'm the one girl in this building who knows how to rap. I go from place to place because there's nowhere to stop. No one can stop me because it all comes from the heart. They can all try, but I'll just restart. Yeah, she talked about her life. Yeah, that's a good thing about singing. You gotta talk about life, not money. Yeah. Whatever she does in life, she's gonna excel at. She's got like the cleanest flow of any of the ones we did so far. <laughs> These guys are gonna be mad. <laughs> Tell me if it's too loud. A little bit. Daniel's a good kid, and he always gave it like a good try. Just go ahead, whatever you want, just to start it. You wanna practice it together? You want it? Let's say it along with me. Nah, you go. Uh, you go together. Okay, hold it up like that, so I can see it. Okay, right here. Nine five is the life. I live it on the street. If you come to my block. Every time we ask him to record something, he always put up a solid effort. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And Rob was able to listen to all these kids and the kind of music that he makes. The kids were able to identify with him. Is that how you want to say it? Say that. Yeah, because this one's so confused. Ant. Ant? Yeah. Yeah, that means like, uh, is not. My punch, ant, not sweet. Yeah, so it means like my punch is not sweet. If you want to say it like that, say it like that. Yeah, okay. 95 is the life. I live it on the street. If you come to my block, I make your head bleed. My punch are so sweet. Come to the hood and see me with all my homies on the street smoking the weed. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? Is it good? MD. Hey, he just cracks me up always has a smile on his face and he's gonna tell you how it is every single time. MD 94th goes sticking up on me more than more. And I like that and I like that. Wanna make me smack that booty on the floor. This is how I roll. Whoa. It's the natural. Cool. So it's time to do a double up. Say double but only rhymes to rhyme words. Just let words. Don't say every word. Yeah. Just a word that rhymes. The words are like. Okay. 94. More. Whoa! Jump shit, he's kind of on the brinks of going in the wrong direction. You're going to hear MD's thing, and then you're going to start as soon as he's done. I know he doesn't have a father and stuff like that. I think that plays a big role. I never had a father growing up as well, and that's what my problem was. Yeah, bro. Young homie in the hood. Girls come to me because you know you should. But he has a lot of potential. Hopefully he pulls himself out of it. We make your face bang. We are making the mess. We aim as the best. So I brought in some videos that me and Wob did, you know, like the process and kind of like the storyboarding and stuff like that and just showing them the scripts that I've written. This is the, this is a storyboard, right? So every shot you see on the storyboard, just get a visual, you know, you know visual, visually think about all the shots that you're reading. You see a music video, there's a lot of fast movements, right? A lot of fast shots. 
and that's pretty much right here. So various shots of the two cityscape. So the camera guy follows for every shot that you did on the storyboard. We're looking for someone to do the acting portion. Just teach the kids how to be on camera. We're going to be helping you guys get your best performance in the video. With... Hey, Misa Mose. I went to acting school with her. I said no. We cast her for Sister, a short film that me and Jim did. Hey, squirm. How about some more practice on me? Come on, everyone. Come closer, you guys. circle. She went through a lot of group activities, passing certain things. This is a piece of tape. Oh, this is a piece of tape. Acting activities to loosen them up to be on camera. Her coming in for that and teaching them a little bit about how to take direction, not freeze up in the camera was fun. Watch the person in front of you. Whatever I do, you follow. I don't have to act with the camera. Like, don't get shy. Good job. Oh, I got you. It's very hard for someone to engage young people in this kind of an activity that goes on for more than six months. Sometimes you have to provide incentives. The food, man, food is really important. Not just any food. The key to their heart is pizza. And if it's not pizza, they're not going to come. You open up pizza boxes and you know, they're coming out of the woodworks. You were able to say, there's food here. When we finish, we're going to go there. Pizza is a motivator, right? So what I would do is make them work really, really hard. I also told them you have to be there on time. Ready? Yeah. Okay, Yo, put it lower, lower, lower. Yeah, I'm gonna get the pizza for that. Yeah, yeah, and this one. This one too. Oh, I know what I'll do. There you go. Can I get my pizza? Thanks to you, we had pizza every Wednesday. Hello? And you know what? I wanted to get it because I knew that some of the kids don't go home and they're out with their friends and they don't eat. So I figured if I can keep them in the classroom, you know, then they would stay out of trouble. They were able to focus and I was able to bribe them with pizza and they loved it and I loved it. So. What's up, you? My family? been dancing like my whole life so dance is like my purpose in this world. Denisa Hall came in as well. She did the dancing portion. Dogmat, she goes to my school. She likes dancing and she's part of the school dance. My first program was the hip hop program. It's really fun. I was interested in that so I just came in. Demisia, the choreographer was so wonderful with all the kids. I thought the girls will be the only ones who will like her. A lot of the girls came out, and even the boys, and I know they don't want to admit that, but I, I, they were there. That's cool. And then you pretend like you're like, he's a marionette, one of those like girls, you know? And then someone controls them. <laughs> you know I'll get to jump on you next. <laughs> there were some kids that was kind of reluctant to try out. Yeah, you know, I got brothers and sisters that are like taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but then they eventually were in there like you wouldn't believe. I don't want to do this. Come on, come on. Jam Shed is a tough guy. 
So you know what I mean? Now from here, do the same thing. Right shoulder. Both shoulders up. And now I'm going to drop the shoulders. Both shoulders. And then down. You weren't here when she came with the whole group? What? Someone like Dagma with getting an MD to come out and, and dance a little bit, and I thought that was fantastic. They learned a lot. It was great having her there. Well, do you I, I'm not good sure at lip syncing. Like, well, you have to, man. Like, you have to get around the Just look at the camera, don't worry about anybody else. Rehearsals were very important. Just running through the music video over and over and over until they get it right. The kids chose their own location. Yeah, it is, yeah. We wrote the storyboards on a, on a big sheet of paper and we showed them what we were going to do, which during a music video helps a lot. Production. Wow. So day one. Call time was at 7 in the morning. I think it was Saturday. There was snow on the ground. And Azim was the only one that actually showed up. And let me tell you, it was like freaking out because we were supposed to have shot. Dagmawit came later. And uh, Jumpshit actually showed up. But the first person to show up was Azim. We shot him outside of Earcom, did some dolly shots. Then we went to a school across the street and did Dagmawit. We shot her on the stairs. Repeating was kind of annoying. <laughs> we were like, okay, one more take. And it's like, you know, like 10 takes later. <laughs> like, what? One more take. Yo, let's do it again. Finish your lyrics and just walk off. <laughs> you just said that 20 takes ago. <laughs> one more take, one more take. But yeah, but that's, that's the way it is. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I ex expected. And then we went to Central Park and did uh, jump shits. And then we went to Central Park. We did the fighting scene with Jump Shit. I used to go along the left side path shooting. But I was like, no, good. Because that thing had happened to me, and then I just put in the video. No good. Mandela showed up. We did his scene. Walking his volley uh, shot along Central Park. Azim. Mandela and uh, Jump Shit. We got all three of them together. Okay, as soon as we, we say, when I say action, just grab your jacket, put it on, and you're singing. Then grab your, they go and grab the ball and watch. Life in Canada, they taught me new things, some new experience, and how to write a song. Yeah. At the end of the day, we went over to the Graffiti Art Gallery and did a scene with everybody kind of fighting for camera. <laughs> Dagmawit, she says she's shy, but I, I don't see it. <laughs> I want to shoot the video at the at art the gallery. Okay, guys. Position!
he's soft-spoken sometimes, but boom, when he comes out, you know, he's a performer, he's, he's amazing. Making a music video, that's just something I, I want to look at maybe in like, what, 20 years from now. I did this, I've been there, you know, and my, my mom, I can just show just what I've come to, you know, I, I wasn't wasting time. MD, as a performer, he's all smiles. That's just having fun. Focus on the camera. The camera's on you. Don't look away because when, when we see you coming on the stairs, you're looking at someone and you're looking over here. Stay on the camera at all times. In the end of the kids' performance, bang on every single time they nailed it impressed me Joe, let's all stand there you we he said we no i didn't say we. yeah because there's no, no we man no we no we no we no we you're not friends only me yes only i and myself no we man yeah no we this is the last shot we need the shot guys okay action jump shit He's a pretty good rapper, and he's pretty confident in front of the camera, and I think that's really good. DP, he's a hidden talent. When he sang his verse, kind of surprised me. You know, he kind of flowed. It, it kind of came out, and he was just like, he just no stopping him, and it just was great. Had to show behind the scenes stuff, and the kids loved it. When we went to the mayor's luncheon, and we were there as a group, you could just see this sort of community that you formed with them. I'm glad because they were able to stand up and get the ovation that they deserved in front of everyone there. Things okay in the back. Kenya and Canada, but don't be any gang members in there. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're really grateful. That's all we do, just music, music, music. That's all. Uh, when it's happy moments, I'm very happy with them. When it's fun, I enjoy the fun even sometimes more than the kids. Happy, he's a good guy. He like he's trying to help people. He's trying to keep you out of trouble. I saw so many people. Like getting arrested, getting deported, getting hurt, getting shot. Then I was like, I start thinking like this is not a good choice. Art can prevent crime. You know, it's that simple. <laughs> I'd like to thank Trisha and the Winnipeg Arts Council. Iricom. Abdi and the kids for choosing me and Jim to do this project. I'm able to balance the two of them, being able to be friends and part of, be part of the kids. At the same time, be able to maintain some kind of order among the kids because of how much influence I have on them in their life. Coming into this as an artist doesn't compare to what you actually feel. To tell their stories through music, that's what matters the most, their voice being heard. And if they're planning to be big rap stars, and it'll be them on the other side of the lens. From all around the world, from the war zones.
To come to this place when I'm through wall of stone Coming from my east and I know what to struggle More of trouble went over my head Made me live my life like I'm dead No tears, no fears When I see a target, God, I hit it hard Everything around disappears Look a breath, next level, next step Next stop is the top Motivation pushing me I'm a pushing dream, situations pushing me Am I broke now? Not, not, not a scene Night is the life, I live it on the street It's down to my blog, I make your head lit My punches are so sweet Come to my hood and see all my homies on the street Smoking that weed I'm the one girl in this building who knows how to rap I go from place to place cause there's nowhere to stop No one can stop me cause it all comes from the heart They can all try but I'll just restart From all around the world, from the war zones To come to this place when I'm through one stone From all around the world, from the war zone To come to this place when I'm through one stone MV 94, all sticking up on me More than more, and I like that There's no one hit me crying When the sunlight show shine They put the blame on me They acting like they love me I holla yes you hear me The haters trying to kill me I don't know nothing about you But the street make me stronger like a G I'm trying to live my life so badly But everywhere I go The haters keep me bugging me I'm trying to get a job But in my blog The life is so hard From all around the world, from the war zones To come to this place when I'm through one stone From all around the world, from the war zones To come to this place when I'm through one stone I'm trying to make friends, I'm getting ready to dress On the courts I'm blessed, NBA is the best My brother's in the game, he's giving me a stress If he queen now, he might see success My name is DP, I'm walking like a rasta My people, they come from the land called Africa Sing like a river G, everybody wants to be a singer A dancer, just like me Hard times come, they come, they go People said they understand, but how they know What doesn't kill make me stronger Look at me, look at you, look at me longer What up? I'm a soldier, told I told ya, I'm a hold y'all If y'all mess with them, real G's Y'all gonna get your ass whipped with them hood brothers From all around the world, from the war zones To come to this place when I'm through one of stones From all around the world, from the war zones To come to this place when I'm through one of stones Now it's time to meet the filmmakers, Jim Agapito and Irvin Chartrand. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Tell me about meeting the kids for the first time. What was that like? Oh, my gosh. Such a ball of energy. Abby, the program coordinator from ERCOM, brought all the kids in. Irvin and I really didn't know how to read them. They kind of were very, very serious, just kind of looking at us, and we were just kind of talking with them, and we could see them warm up slowly, and right away, Irvin was like, okay, we need to work with these kids. But you guys have a specific background that might make them connect with you more. 
Absolutely. Um, me coming from an immigrant family, I kind of have a similar background with them, but especially because a lot of them um, are kind of in conflict with gangs in the area. Urban can touch on this. I was involved in gangs throughout my youth, and the environment that they were put in, obviously Central is known for the gangs and stuff like that, so they had a lot of our challenge is coming to Canada as well, being a youth. Abdi thought it was a great reason for the two of us to work with him. I've worked with kids before, and, you know, it took us some time to set up the lights here. Filmmaking is a slow process. How did you keep their interest? We kept their interest by, A, getting them pizza every day because sometimes the kids don't want to go home. They want to hang out with friends, so we'd buy them pizza and we'd motivate them, kind of give them as a reward. And another thing is that a lot of them have been let down by people, and Irvin and I were hard so I'm like, we'll show up every day because we want them to come there and show that there's a positive alternative. When you come into our program, we're all having fun, you're doing something positive, and you're doing hip-hop, which is something that they're really, really interested in. Did you see a change in the kids through the process? Absolutely. Um, if we look at Dagmit, for example, the girl, she was really, really shy at the beginning, and at the end, she, she turned into, you know, the star. She was rapping, and she was keeping up with the boys, which was really, really important. She didn't really think that she was going to do well, but she was probably one of the best rappers there, so... I look at like a guy like Azim who a year prior he couldn't speak any English. Now he's rapping and he's really outgoing and it's really cool to see that change because now they're like, okay, we can perform, we can do anything. And I think we're stoked that, you know, we motivated them that way. Did you see a change in yourselves at all? I learned a lot, I guess, from their backgrounds and stuff like that and understanding what immigrants and refugees are. Um, they're obviously different. I thought they were similar in, in so many ways, but um, you know, the refugees are, are fleeing their countries and stuff like that, and, and obviously the immigrants are coming here to immigrate to Canada. The kind of hardships they went through, their environment, um, the, the, the kind of things they witnessed, people being killed, and, and parents and, and family members. You know, like I thought I had a bad living in Canada and growing up the way I grew up, but, you know, they, they had it much worse. And hopefully, like, that what we helped them kind of, uh, I guess, um, not only, like, Forgetting about, not, not forgetting about where they came from, but just kind of, you know, you know, this is Canada. Obviously, this is a better place for you. Now, Irvin, you started this project thinking that it was only going to be a few months, right? I think we, we estimated, I think, three, three to four months. <laughs> um, but we decided to take it uh, pretty much the full year. It turned out great. Um, I think the kids were happy that we were there every Wednesday, and they looked forward to it. When we had our premieres on the public, just watching their faces and all their hard work, I mean, it, it was the greatest reward I think that we could have. So you had the, the one at the mayor's luncheon, and you also showed it at, at another venue, didn't you? Old yeah. Market Square. When, when they saw it on the big screen, they saw all these people, I mean, all their faces were just like, wow, I can't believe this is actually happening, and have the applause I think that they deserved after, you know, a hard year. And it, it was fantastic. How important are programs like what you guys did with these kids and helping them be safe in Canada? You take them after school and you show them that alternative. It does keep them away from the streets. They get to channel something positive, but you show them that you can be creative, you can have fun, and they can be kids. Some of them have lost both parents, some of them are living with their grandmothers, some of them are... Um, they just they don't have you know any father figures or whatnot or they don't have any um, mothers you know it's it's really hard for them especially when you're alone in the country that's why it's so important. People look, uh, talk about my finger all the time, and every time I see something, I see you, and... Uh, Please, you're s killing the whole song.